Okay, this video is I got from the documentary, um, The Illegal Marijuana Business. It's just a clip from it, um, fair use again. And this particular part, I will be exploring the pharmaceutical companies usurping the marijuana movement, specifically the medical marijuana movement. This guy is about to tell you his global agenda for taking over the marijuana movement and giving the profit to the pharmaceutical companies in the name of giving the money back to the government but it's really those pirates behind the government listen carefully right to British Columbia they have approximately 700 outlets that's 700 pounds of marijuana a day even at $2,000 a pound, that's $1.4 million a day. A day. Part of Sam's plan is to hire existing growers as subcontractors, sharing the wealth. In a town like Grand Forks, I could make myself sufficient just by the growth of marijuana. If you're growing potty illegally, let's turn it to grow it legally, and we would be your purchaser. And in turn, we would be able to sell it now to the pharmaceutical companies. What did he just say? Rewind that one more time to make sure you understand. Of marijuana. If you're growing potty illegally, let's turn it to grow it legally, and we would be your purchaser. And in turn, we would be able to sell it now to the pharmaceutical companies. <clears throat> so... His plan is to take the criminals and make what they're doing that's illegal, legal. And he cites money and not morality. And that is a fair representation of it since I've seen the whole documentary. And he goes on to talk about the political implications of it. Not the spiritual or the moral. And he, I would venture to say, works with consultants from pharmaceutical companies and government agents to usurp the medical marijuana movement. And this is part of why the feds allow it. Need I remind you of all the other things they allow? I'm not saying end medical marijuana. I am saying do not let the feds usurp the movement. Fear. Envy, distrust is their way.